one M2 drive here. This is the source, as in where the data is coming from. This is the target, as in where the data is going to. And with this plugged into power and two drives in here, you'd literally click this button and it would go through the process and show you the percentages as it copies all the data from the source over to the target drive. And today we're back with a slightly different product. This may be a little bit of a shorter video, but special thanks to my friends over at this company who was nice enough to send me this dual M2 SSD docking station. Now this thing has two modes, an offline mode where you could literally put in two M2 SSDs, click a button and it would start cloning them, as well as an online mode where you could just plug an M2 SSD into this and use it kind of like an external drive if you wanted to. So of course we're gonna get on the overhead rig. We're gonna unbox this. I have one M2 uh, SSD, so we're gonna plug that in and show this being used external and I'll go over how the cloning process works as well. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and let's check out this M2 SSD docking station. All right, so let's open up our dual M.2 SSD docking station. This is a dual bay M2 SSD clone hard drive enclosure. So as you can see, NVMe Express serial ATA. It has a USB 3.1 type C Gen 2 connector, super speeds up to 10 gigabits and DC 5 volt 3 amps. Aluminum two bay M2 SSD docking station with clone feature. Works with Windows and Mac. Nothing on that side, just their little sticker there. Nothing there. And the back just mentioned some of the modes. So you have the uh, offline mode, no need to connect to computer, just the DCIN power supply and long press the button in the lower right corner. The LED light starts flashing and starts a cloning. So that means if you have two M2 SSDs and you need to clone them, you don't have to do anything else but plug this up to power, put both of the drives in, long press that button and boom. It's gonna be working. It can also be used for online reading and writing. So with the C to C or the C to A data connector to the computer, you can easily manage the hard disk as like an external drive. That's what I'm gonna be able to show you because sadly I do not have two M2 SSDs. So let's open this on up and take a look at what we got here. Pull this off. So top slides off like so. So here is the actual, wow, very nice feeling device here. Look at that, I love the red bottom on it. That's cool, I like that. So this is to the PC, the USB-C, that's just the DC power that you would use in trying your copy button. So as you can see, one M2 drive here, one M2 drive here. This is the source, as in where the data is coming from. This is the target, as in where the data is going to. And with this plugged into power and two drives in here, you'd literally click this button and it would go through the process and show you the percentages as it copies all the data from the source over to the target drive. Now, love this aluminum casing. Feels really nice, good quality. Even got some nice little rubber pads on the bottom here. Very nice job, cool pie. So what else we got? We have, that's just plastic. Have our accessories, that's just cardboard. So we have the power cable, as I mentioned, this would be for when you're using this without a PC. So you'd be able to just plug this directly in like so, plug this into power, plug in your drives, click a button, and this will do all the work automatically for you. For an IT professional who's using M2 drives and maybe making clones of those drives to put into other computers, this would be a great item to have. You could actually basically stage and prep a computer and uh, be able to essentially clone everything at once and then maybe activate it with different Windows activation keys to work it would just work very smoothly. That'd be phenomenal. And include one of each. So there is a USB-C to USB-C, which I'll end up actually using since I only have an M1 iMac to use this with. And then there's also the USB-C to USB-A for people with an older generation computer that still has regular USB-A. And then uh, that's it for the box. A little instruction manual telling you all about uh, how to use the device, which I've essentially, uh, you know, told you here. There's a few things though that I haven't mentioned, which is that the capacity, maximum capacity is four terabytes. So uh, that's just something to think about. But in the end, this is a pretty darn amazing 
device. Like I said, I don't have two M2 SSDs. I had a company that was gonna send me some. They ended up not sending them to me. I actually just never heard back from them. So it is what it is. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take an M2 drive that I have, put into here. We'll plug it in with the USB-C cable so that it gets power. And then I'm going to uh, try to copy something from my M1 iMac over to this M2 SSD, just so you can see actually how fast it is. Considering it says that it moves at 10 gigs per second, this thing should be able to move a file pretty darn quick. So uh, I guess let's go do that now. All right, and so now I have here, oh, we're off of that. All right, so now I have here a uh, M.2, as you can see, SSD. So with this, if I had two of them and plugged it into power, I could literally, this would be the source, of course, over here on the right, could literally take this, pop it right into place, right there like so, put in a blank drive over here and click this copy button and it would literally take the data from this drive and copy it over to the target with absolutely no issues. Gotta love that, nice and hands-free, easy to do. What I'm gonna actually show you is something uh, a little different. I'm gonna use this as an external drive. So take out my M2 SSD, I'm gonna take their little cable, plug it in directly into the back of my iMac here. So I have a free port right there, we'll plug that in and then and now that it's plugged in, we'll plug in our cool Pi dock. So just a little PC icon over here. Just plug that right in. So I can take my M2 SSD, slide it into the source here. Bam, that's now clicked into place. And we of course need our power cable. And so I'll run this little power cable around to give it power. And now we'll plug in our power, boom. Saw a light already. We've got a little blue light there, a little flashing red light. And now my hard drive should come up on my computer here. There it is, Time Machine Backups. That's what that drive is called. And if I click into it, you can see my Time Machine's backups. Everything, as you can see, is coming from here. You've got your uh, little lights there and everything lighting up nice and bright. Now, originally I was gonna do some uh, file transfers, but forgetting that this drive was actually my Time Machine backup drive uh, basically means that I can't because this drive is locked and so I can't move anything from it. But that's essentially how this would work. So there you have it. That's a look at this dual M2 SSD docking station. As I mentioned, the real benefit here is not having to plug this thing into a computer where you could literally take two M2 drives, plug in the source drive, plug in the target drive, click one button, and it would copy all the data from one over to the other. Great for an IT professional. As you can see in my video, it'll also work as an external drive, or if maybe you just needed to get some data off of an M2 drive, you could plug it in the way I did. At the end of the day, everything worked exactly as it should, and with the ratings that this has, it should be very fast for file transfers. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to show that due to me having a time machine backup on my only M2 drive. Sorry. So of course, I'll have this exact dual M2 SSD docking station linked down below in my description if you'd like to grab one for yourself. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. We'll see you in the next one. Deuces.